Welcome today to a review on the 2017 Honda Civic EX with Honda Sensing. And I'm not sure the technical name of the color, but it's four door, um, has single exhaust. If you get the 1.5 liter turbo, you get dual exhaust, which I'm not sure why you would need on a, on a small motor like that. But this is the two liter naturally aspirated Honda Civic EX with Honda Sensing. And the Honda Sensing means that you have a camera right here for backing up. Again, it's a Civic. And you have a, when you put your right blinker on, you have another camera right here. It shows you next to the car. And we'll have my assistant Joseph pop the hood so we can look at the engine. Joseph is my son and he's helping me do reviews. Damien wanted to be here but had homework to do. Okay. Hood is popped. Let me put the prop up. Hold on one second. Okay, here it is. Two liter. Um, for other guys like me, uh, they like to work on their own stuff, as you can see, plenty of room, plenty of room all around it to work on it. Not sure what the Earth Dreams technology IV tech means, but, um, it's no race car, it's a It's a small family sedan. Okay, Joe, put that hood down for me. I'll hold this for you. Grab the hood. Now push it hard. There you go. All right. Again, it's four door. It has a really nifty gas. Open the gas lid for me, Joe. You press it in, and it pops out. And then you just grab the edge and open. No cap. You just stick the nozzle in and fuel up. And then when you're done, you click, and it's closed. I'll show you another nifty thing. Joseph, turn the car off. And roll up that window. We're going to show you some of the features from the outside it's all right just hop out okay so first feature when you walk away it locks itself when it is locked the gas lid will not pop open but if you press unlock now it'll open so that's, I thought that was pretty neat. And also, if you lock the doors, lock it, press and hold the start button. That's the auto start feature. You can also turn it off by pressing it again. And the engine dies. Also, as a very handy feature, uh, if you want to roll all the windows down and the sunroof at one time, you um, press and hold the unlock button. And then all the windows should go down. All the windows are down. And the sunroof is open. Then, hold that camera, Joe when you want to roll them all back up unfortunately 
you cannot do it from the remote. You have to take the key out of the fob, put it in the door, go to the lock position, and it'll shut everything for you. Kind of cool. Um, also, as you walk up to the vehicle, I just put this key back, I'm sorry. Okay, all back together. When you walk up to the vehicle, key's in your pocket. You just put your hand in here and it unlocks the door. So you never have to take your keys out of your pocket. And as you can hear it, it's locking as I walk away. <clears throat> so you get close to it. Your hand here, it unlocks. Um, it also has, let's see if you guys can see it. Under here, you have a little pad. And when you press the pad, it opens the trunk. So you never have to take your keys out. All right, uh, let's hop in and do a quick overview of the stuff in the vehicle. Okay, here we are in the Civic and we are going to fire it up. So we press the brake. I'm sure people know how to do this, but just want everybody to see. Press the start button and she comes alive. Now, like I said before, this has Honda sensing. So let me just turn the fan down so it's not. Okay. Over here, you have some cancellation buttons. So you have traction control, turn that off if you want. Um, crash mitigation, which crash mitigation will, uh, if you get too close, first I'll give you a warning, it'll say break in the center console up here and it'll start beeping at you. And if you don't do anything, it'll apply the brakes. And this is lane mitigation. If you leave the roadway, it'll stop the car. And I had an unfortunate incident where I made a right hand turn onto a gravel driveway and it stopped. <laughs> it wouldn't let me go, nothing. Um, and that was because I didn't use my blinker. So if you press the, turn the blinker on to make a right hand turn or a left hand turn, you can leave the roadway and it doesn't do anything. Also, when you put the right hand blinker on, this shows up. So you can see next to you. Or on the end of the stick there, you can press this button and it comes on. Also, on the uh, so the windows, uh, the front two are automatic, and you know what the rest of this stuff is. Um, and that's automatic down and automatic up. Um, we've got brake hold feature, which uh, is pretty cool. Um, we'll have to put our seat belts on to show you that. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. So, you press the brake hold button, show up on the dash, and you simply put it in drive, and it will stay right here without my foot touching anything until you hit the gas. As soon as you hit the gas, it starts to move. It's really good for drive-throughs or sitting at a red light. Um, I'd say you kind of you could use it like if you're next to somebody and you wanted to take off quickly, but um, it's probably not advisable. Might get a ticket. Um, also, it has down here is the emergency brake, which is electronic. This is one of those features I do not care for. Um, so you just lift it up; it applies the brake. And if you go into gear and try to move. It will move, but not very, oh. If you put it in gear and move, it automatically disconnects it. I didn't even know it did that. Learning something new every day. <clears throat> so, to put it on, you hit up, 
to put it off, you press down. And if it's up and you put it in gear and hit the gas, or hit the gas, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you hit the gas, it automatically turns it off, which is new to me. I just learned that. All right, so back to the center screen. These are your climate controls. You can press here and go through everything on the screen, or you can do it with just these controls. I prefer just these controls because this is a lot of buttons to push just to turn it up or down. Uh, one big downfall is on the audio side. Okay. Um, it's on Sirius now. I'm not sure what channel it is. On Classic Rewind. Looks like uh, Classic Rock or something like that. Anyway. The volume is here. You can either push here and press these buttons or you can just go up like that or press the plus or the minus. Also, you can come over here and you can click it up and it shows up on the screen there or down. If you want to go up quickly, you just rub your finger across it like that. I thought was pretty cool um, you also you can uh, the information center in the console there like right now it's on fuel economy um, you can press it you can go to the repair you hit enter 80% life left uh, you can go to music everything you're seeing over there you'll see on the front there and then you can adjust the channels uh, by clicking left or right. Um, you can hit the back button to go back on the screen. Um, that also hangs up the phone and answers the phone. And this you can tell the car like play something or answer the phone or whatever. Uh, call somebody. It doesn't work very well. I do have to say that. I wish it did work better but it doesn't. Uh, then you can go to your phone and it'll show you all the pe people you've called and your different trips. So that's the center console. And I like to keep it on here. Okay, and um, back to this. Has a lot of features, does a lot of things. Okay, so you press home. Um, you can go into information and trip computer for instance you can go to history as you can see please don't mind the dust as you can see um, the third previous trip um, that's the best I've seen um, that was 400 miles of city driving no no highway at all that's all city and I got 38.3 and that was with the ecom button on when the ecom button is on it uh, locks up the converter um, and gets better fuel economy it also um, turns on and off the AC to be at optimal times like if you hit the gas a little bit harder to get up and go it'll turn the air off, the air conditioning off and then when you once you get up to speed it'll come back on um, with it completely off, um, I was averaging around 37. Still is great for all city. On the highway, we took a trip to New Jersey, and that trip was uh, 208 miles, and we averaged 45 miles to the gallon on the highway, and that's no joke. On the way back, we got 43 miles to the gallon. I think that difference was down here in Virginia where I live uh, we have conventional gas and up north they have uh, reformulated gas which is better for um, emissions and the environment back to the home screen so you got Honda link which if you give your car Wi-Fi from your phone um, it can link up to Honda, troubleshoot itself, 
stuff like that. It can also, you put the app on your, um, you put the app on your phone and you can see how much gas is in it, stuff like that. I don't use it. Smartphone connection, um, if you plug this wire in, which is connected down here, um, if you connect right there, you can have Android Auto or the iPhone, and on the opposite side, that's where you can plug your uh, regular chargers in to charge the phone. It does charge when you hook it to the car for Android Auto, uh, but it's only 1.5 amps, so if you're using a lot of things, you know, it's not as charge friendly you know they did that so that your phone wouldn't heat up while you're in the car also settings you can literally change all kinds of crazy things in this car um, I've changed like uh, the the clock for the zone that I live in um, you can go into vehicle and have the the locks lock when you start moving or when you take it out of park or um, there's various settings. You can also um, go to system and uh, you can go to system and program it for that walk away. Like if you want it to be five feet away, the doors lock, or ten feet. I don't know why you would make a difference in that, but you can change that. You can also, um, if you have an SD card with um, a movie on it or not an SD card I'm sorry one of those what do you call them Joe USBs. USB port if you put that down in here where the wire goes in there where the wire goes in you plug it right in and if you have a movie on there you can actually watch a movie on this screen as you drive down the road you can also download pictures to it so if you don't want to look at this you can look at a picture you, you know your own personalized pictures on your screen at all times um, which is pretty handy um, phone you can do all your phone settings from here audio um, it gives you FM AM uh, Sirius XM uh, the USB port um, your iPod Bluetooth from your phone and Pandora. Now Pandora only works when you're giving Wi-Fi to the car. And then uh, also from the Android Auto. Okay. Back to home. Um, the only downside I see to the setup in this car is there is not a volume knob. I continuously mess up and try to hit the um, try to turn this for the volume and uh, and mess it up all the time but uh, it goes back fairly easy oh also over here you have um, for the trunk and that's for the hood um, it has a huge center console get my stuff out of here real quick these cup holders uh, move forward and backward uh, you lift this up and it's deep it's very deep there's also an Easter egg in there uh, it's all the way at the bottom and you got to take it apart but um, basically the mat on the bottom of there if you pull everything out and pull that mat out look on the bottom of it it has some little race cars that Honda's have, Honda has made over the years um, sun visors come with a mirror which is lit, which I was shocked about. Both sides. Also up here you have your sunroof, and if you kick it back, it's automatic. The sunroof will open. And if you push it forward, it comes forward, automatic. And if you push it in, it will go to the vented position. 
and then to close it you push it forward again and it closes you have the two lights here you can adjust for the door here you also for the rear passengers have a light back there so they have their own light also um, I'm gonna try to show it to you I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not but this hole right here um, at night when the headlights are on let's see if I can get it to turn on there it is it lights up blue and what that does is at night it lights up this whole area with a nice blue glow so you can see in your cup holders you can see where your smokes are if you're a smoker um, and it makes it very handy um, now we'll go through the Honda Sensing okay so Honda Sensing is here um, this is uh, the lane keeping assist when you press it on the dash you get these uh, two sections of dotted lines so it looks like you're in a lane now when you're in that lane uh, and you reach 35 miles an hour as you go up faster and faster they'll go solid when they go solid that means the car is keeping you in the center works very well um, I have noticed that if there's a lot of salt on the road it can't see it or if the lines on your road you know if the paints like chipped away and fading away it has a hard time um, it also has a hard time when the road is concrete and the lines are white it it, it doesn't see it very well but um, all the major highways that I've used it on I've set it at you know 65 70 miles an hour and I would just hold my fingers like this um, and it, it did all the steering which was amazing um, you do have to keep your hand on it because every once in a while it will tell you steering required but if your finger is on it and you just do like that every once in a while it won't do it it'll just continue to drive you can also adjust with the Honda sensing the distance and that's this button here and when you press that that's like two tenths of a mile that's like a tenth and a half that's like a tenth of a mile behind the car that's in front of you uh, and that is like between 30 and 50 feet just a one click and when you set the cruise we'll show you here in a minute uh, we'll take it for a spin and I'll show you. Um, look at that low fuel light. Check it out. I've never seen that come on before. <laughs> um, it'll actually, above that lane, it'll show you a, an outline of a vehicle. <clears throat> and when a car gets in your path, that outline of a vehicle will go to a solid white of a vehicle. And, you know, that's letting you know it, it knows it's there. And which is pretty handy um, it's not like the tractor trailer I drive it actually tells you the speed of the person in front of you but still pretty nifty you've got your four ways up here in between the air vents and what were you saying Joe we forgot to show them the sensors oh yeah let's get out real quick we'll show you where the sensors are on the car So the one sensor is right here behind that back black plate and then it, the camera that helps the lane keep assist is right there in the center. Alright Joe, hop in the back. Oh no, you can get in the front. Be better for a camera view. Alright, now... Yes, buckle up. Buckle up for safety. I'll buckle up too. Okay, so from there, Joe, can you see um, the lane keep assist? Um, I don't think so. You may have to sit up front. Okay. That way they can see it as we're 
Where cruising on down the highway. These lines right up here. Yeah, that is why. Yeah. I'm not so bad, okay. Hop up front then. Uh, okay. We're all set. We also want to show you something on the dash. Like when you open the door, like see, open the driver's door. Joe, open your door. It like shows each door. Okay, here you go, Joe. And Joe, I want you to keep it over here somewhat so they can see the. You can't see it. You're gonna have to be like right there. Can you hold that there? All right, off we go. So we got the lane keep assist on, and we're gonna take a short trip here onto. local road here where we've got some some good lines that works on this road so we're gonna, we're gonna bring it up to speed we're gonna set the cruise control and we're gonna let the car drive itself and Joe will show you that once we get moving As far as being comfortable, it's very comfortable. We've taken a lot of trips in it. As you can see, it has almost 12,000 miles on it. And it's... Getting fuel? Yeah, we'll stop and get fuel. Um, it's only uh, like eight months old. Okay, so, it is set. We're doing 42 miles an hour. As soon as those lanes light up, it will be... driving us. Alright, show them the lanes are lit up. See the lanes lit up? And see the outline of the vehicle? Yes. Right, now show them the road and show them the steering wheel. Just the edge of the steering wheel so they can see that it turns. It does it all for you. nifty. It works well. I'm going to turn that all off and now we're just driving normal. And I'm going to show you what it sounds like when you peg it. Like I said, it's no sports car. It's it's definitely an economy car, you know, get people around for a cheap price. Also wanted to show you, I could get this thing off of there. If you look in there, you'll see above the top there, there's green lines. As you hit the gas, uh, they change color. And they do that to help you try to save as much fuel as possible. So this is the end of the video. Uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, please check us out. Um, coming up soon will be the uh, Bass Buggy 18 pontoon boat. Um, as soon as we have no rain. We've been getting rain like crazy here in Virginia. So as soon as we have no rain, we'll post a video on that. And also stay tuned for a video on the Ring Floodlight Camera. Uh, we'll be filming that in the next couple of days. Alright. Y'all have a good day.